Hey folks, Coach Simmons here. We're gonna do a progression right now. Do what's called a Tennessee shuffle. The word coming out of Memphis, coming out of Tennessee, the big news coming out is that Memphis is getting ready to get offered a Pac-12 position. And we know Memphis was holding out for a big time power five, power four offer. But the way the Pac-12 is shaping up, it may be the best group of five conference out there. Which means you have the best chance of actually getting into the college football playoff from that conference as opposed to anyone else. Now, with Memphis going there, that leaves a big hole in the state of Tennessee. And we know the AAC is one of those conferences that they don't like to be left behind by anybody. So looking at the AAC conference right now, the only thing they can do to make sure they fill that hole is to take another team from Tennessee. Now, with teams like UAB, Army, Charlotte, East Carolina, FAU, Navy, North Texas, Rice, USF, Temple, UTSA, Tulane, Tulsa, Wichita State, possibly Air Force, the only thing they can do is reach out to Middle Tennessee State. Now, Murfreesboro is not, and I mean not, Memphis. But you do have a presence in Tennessee. So you can kind of blink and squint and hope to get that 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 TV market. But we know the AAC is known for just maybe, maybe you can get the viewership you wanted. But with Murfreesboro, Tennessee being out of the way, going to the AAC, plugging that hole doing the old Tennessee shuffle, the boot scoot and boogie, if you want to call it, the the um two-step, if you will. That leaves another hole. The Conference USA is not known for being the most dominant football conference in America, let's be honest. With teams like FIU, Jacksonville State, Kennesaw State, Liberty, Louisiana Tech, Middle Tennessee, which is now going to the AAC, rumors, New Mexico State, which is probably going to go to the WAC, probably the Mountain West, Freudian slip there. UTEP, which is definitely going to follow Mexico State, based to the uh, Mountain West. <laughs> that leaves Conference USA a big option. Do you fold or try to rebuild? But what teams give you a big enough market to go with Miami and Atlanta? Well, it really only leaves one possibly two schools. But purpose of this video, I'm gonna focus on one. What school in that region, in the FCS, has the ability to financially pay the money to move up? What school in that region, preferably the FCS, has the market big enough that you need to get there? It's only one school out there. Tennessee State University. Now, maybe they coach. Don't think, are they owe like $400 million from the state of Tennessee? Yeah. So they'll have no problem getting the state to pay that $5 million move up. They have facilities. They play in Titan Stadium. I know you're saying they only get 8,000 fans for the game, not HBCU. Yes, but looking at the conference they're in right now, would you rather be in Jacksonville, Alabama, Liberty, La Tech, or West Kentucky in December, or be in Nashville? I'll wait for the answer. It's easy. Nashville will be a destination place. What are you saying, well, Coach? If they're going to be a destination place, why aren't they a destination place now? Because ain't nobody checking for the schools they're playing now. When you go to play in the FCS, you got to make sure you have rivals around you. And their rivals were, to be honest, HBCUs. But the move to a PWI kind of killed the momentum they had. But now, by going to the FBS, you're going to give people what's called false hope. We saw the numbers go up for schools like James Madison, schools like Liberty, Hill, Charlotte, UTSA. When they made the move 
up to the FBS. The numbers that went up, may I ask, was attendance numbers. The people were seeing new rivals. They were getting new games, new matchups they haven't gotten before. Other schools were playing in these small podunk towns coming to play in these new facilities. And let's be honest, people, when you're another school who has a kid with quote unquote pro potential, would you rather play in the bum dunk town of Huntsville, Texas, or go play in Titan Stadium? This is what you gotta look at. If Memphis goes to the Pac-12 and Middle Tennessee State goes to the AAC, there's only one more option for Conference USA. It's not gonna be Charlton State. That will be to replace schools like Utah. But to replace Mount Middle Tennessee State, it's only the Tennessee State. I'm out.